It's not definitive, uh, conclusive information of what exactly happened. The rescue operation is live. It's uh, currently underway um, off waters, uh, in, in waters north of Libya. Tell us about the rescue operation. Well, effectively, uh, the information that we have is that 700 uh, people uh, would have been on a boat that capsized um, that we are uh, trying to address. And what's important about this is that it highlights the incredible dangers of this voyage that people are taking, that they are forced to take right now. These people are victims of violence. They are fleeing. They're running for their lives. Uh, and they're risking their lives to try to find safe harbor. Uh, and this boat is capsized uh, in that process. What's happening there at the moment? We, as you say, up to 700 migrants on board. We believe that some have, been, have managed to be rescued. Uh, I don't have any precise information on figures. We're getting more information as the situation unfolds. Um, I've given you all the information that I have. But just to emphasize that these people are running for their lives. Um, that's why they're taking this incredible risk, um, risking everything to try to find safety. How are you made aware, Andre, of, of what happens? How do they contact you? Or how, how are you made aware of the situation there in the Mediterranean Sea? You are, are both received distress calls. Uh, and then they respond to them. Uh, several other boats, we believe, also in the area at the moment. It has been described, Andre, as the, as the most dangerous journey in the world at the moment, and yet so many thousands of people are still willing to take it, as you were saying. Well, this is precisely the point, is it's the most dangerous journey in the world, as it's described, and people are still doing it anyway. And this situation just highlights exactly how dangerous that is. They are literally risking their lives because they have no other choice. If you can imagine what kind of circumstances would drive you and your family to make such a decision to, to flee like this, to risk life and limb, uh, that's just how dire things are in the world right now. The majority of the people making these trips are people who are fleeing from conflict that's active and ongoing. That's from Afghanistan, from Somalia, from Syria, from Eric, or, or from other conditions and in countries like Eritrea. And it just highlights the gravity of this situation, what's happened today.